हेलो एवरी वन वी आर बैक अगेन दिस इज पार्ट टू इफ यू डिंट वॉच पार्ट वन द लिंक इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन प्लीज डू वॉच इट एंड कम बैक टू पार्ट टू विल इट अफेक्ट द जॉब सिक्योरिंग पर्सन थे प्लीज डोंट कम लाइक यू नो विदाउट नोइंग एनी थिंग इट डिफर्स फ्रॉम माई एक्सपीरियंस पर्सन एंड फ्रेशर दूज आर रियली रियली सो हाउ टू चूज ए कॉलेज आर यूनिवर्सिटी इन आयरलैंड लाइक uh will it affect the job securing percentage when it comes to work in ireland after masters no i don't think so because uh, see in india uh, maybe in our state like if you take top 10 university i mean yeah. if, if you are studying in ou based colleges yeah. ou affiliated colleges yeah. at like top 10 colleges you will have some pay- placements yeah. like the big mnc companies will come and hire you yes okay in the placements yeah. when it comes to here there is nothing like that okay. there is nothing like campus placements or campus selections mm-hmm. i can say so if there is nothing like that it all depends on your on your skill based on your skill and based on your experience mm-hmm. okay he is having a masters degree okay but at the end of the day if you are applying a, if, if you are applying for a job with experience let's say if you are having 3 years experience back in india and you are coming here you studied a masters in this normal college and you are applying for jobs mm-hmm. so in job in an interview then see only your experience okay. not in what college you studied what course you did maybe the course matters yeah but in college i don't think so it matters what i can say is is like you have to have skill and an experience to get a job the college doesn't matter, doesn't matter. At all. college yes. doesn't matter and also it, it it depends on the individuals like you know some um, see if if somebody is coming from like supply chain management Uh, supply chain department yeah supply chain management that that course is only in particular universities yeah. when you when you take that university the fees is around 18000 rupees yeah. so if you want only supply chain management you have, you want to do masters in your supply chain management of course you need to opt for the university yeah. so in colleges you you don't find all the courses what you are looking for certain pharma based courses certain medical courses are only in universities yeah yeah so like if you want if you want to work only in that uh, like you know if you want to study only in that uni- courses that time the university or college matters but for job if you are fa- speaking about job nothing oh okay nothing matters just only your skill and experience okay. i guess uh, if uh, a student needs to plan for an intake like uh, how many months prior uh, they need to start the process so Uh, what do you suggest? Like, how many months prior, uh, if we start the process, then it would be a great benefit for them. So, for your question, um, I think at the moment, if you want to have an admission in colleges, because uh, the like you know the fees for colleges, the fees is less, and moreover, they are in Dublin, so the demand for the colleges as is really really high at the moment. If you if you are planning for it, let's take. if you are planning for september intake at the moment see now the month is may so for september intake literally you can't like you know you can't get an admission in any of the university or college so for january intake you have to start now so for january intake there are like 6 months so maybe one year it, it is better like you know for one year you have to have passport and you have to have like you know entrance exam score like ielts or julingo the exam score and the passport once it's ready with your certificates like bachelor's degree certificates it's better to start in a year before like you know you'll be having a clear idea of what you want and which college you have to learn and if you plan a year before you'll be having many opportunities i can say the admissions will open like you know uh, you'll get a chance to place in a university or college is very easy if you plan early uh if you plan just 6 months before it's very difficult now because of this demand for colleges or universities so i suggest you to uh like suggest you all it's better to start the process for ireland in a year before not like next 2 months i want to go to ireland i don't think so that's a good idea at the moment maybe sometimes it works out but i don't know <laughs> yeah So like uh, when you are looking for a job like what's your interview experience while you landing in a job and uh, how do you feel like it? okay so i finished my studies uh, it i told you it's like one year course so i started in september and i finished it in october okay so i have applied for my graduate visa which is stamp one in november 
but I started preparing my resume in September itself and also I paid my LinkedIn so I I did not like you know started from scratch I can say because the LinkedIn you have to have from uh, like you know way before like you have to have some good connections recruiter connections and everything like you know you can just create a LinkedIn from scratch like zero connections and you are looking for jobs that's not the case so uh, once I know so I started looking for jobs in September so build my LinkedIn resume everything and I started applying for jobs so initially whenever uh, when, when I was applying everyone was asking for my stamp one G visa whether I'm eligible or not to work in, legally in Ireland so I didn't got my one G visa but some of the companies were like I told them see my graduation is coming in November so I'll apply my stamp one G visa within a month I'll get that so some companies were okay like you know you can give the interviews like that so once I started uh, like yeah I started getting some interviews and those were rejected and uh, I was getting the rejections as well like you know you just apply for the company rejection and first round after giving a first round rejection it, it's happening like that meanwhile I applied for my stamp Vanji visa so I got my Vanji visa in January okay so from January I, I, I mean like I can say I can legally work in Ireland as a full time full time so in ja from january i started looking for jobs more because january the market is going to begin because the november and december will be the vacation period yeah, okay. the christmas time the festival time mm -hmm. so in the january mid uh, you will get like you know the many job openings will be there in the jan from january mid so i started looking for jobs like rigorous like i say oh my god i i, I used to apply like at least a third like you know every day i used to apply for a job whatever like i used to put a filter past 24 hours in linkedin the filter and whatever it may be whatever may be the experience yeah. i applied for three years of experience around three years but even in this five years i used to apply just like that they have to get my resume or maybe see if they're not finding any five years candidate mm -hmm. they might choose me yeah. i don't know so i'm like just go ahead and apply go ahead and apply go ahead and apply touch wood i got many interviews that time i just don't want to tell them I got many interviews that time and the rejections were also the same but finally I got job in February ending so I finished my graduation in October mm -hmm. and I applied for my graduate visa in November so it took me November December January and February February ending I got an offer and March 1st week March 6th like last year March 6th March 6th I landed in a job so I worked as a DevOps engineer in my previous company it's a corp based company so there uh, after working there like for seven months yeah it was seven months uh, so in that company uh, they mentioned like they can give the sponsorship but i wanted like you know if i'm taking the sponsorship i have to be in that company like at least for 12 months maybe like mostly two years but at least for 12 months if after 12 months maybe i can change my stamp for visa okay but at least 12 months so i thought okay so that company is giving me a visa but let's pause and maybe i'll try for another like you know other jobs as well if i get any good opportunity with sponsorship and good pay good job title like a you know, good opportunity i can shift there and i can take sponsorship from that company mm -hmm. because see if you are taking sponsorship you need to stuck in that company right mm -hmm. so it's better to like you know think again mm -hmm. so that's how what i thought last year in october so I thought maybe I look for any other opportunity if I get okay if I won't get also it's fine I can take sponsorship from that company so I was like that so after working for seven months I thought of asking after probation period I thought of asking uh, like okay uh, I want sponsorship now they were okay but I looked for other jobs as well in October uh, like fortunately I, I got one more job in Twilio as a site reliability engineer so that company gave me sponsorship now in last November as a I mean they were sponsored uh, like stamp on visa so that was my job journey but um, is i said in a like simple manner i can say but it took me uh, it was like really tough journey for me so i started looking for jobs from way before i graduated uh, like you know when my graduation is in next two months itself i started looking for jobs so it took me uh, six months but i can say from january i got my visa sponsorship i mean i got my graduate visa and everything so it was okay i was getting responses from january so what i suggest to the people is like if you are graduating in next six months or next three months 
you should start from now to prepare the resume to approach the recruiters how to approach the recruiters in linkedin how to get your references what's the process because once you start this it it usually take one month to get to use to it like you know you have to change your resume according to the jd sometimes or else you have to like you know build your connections or you have to know basically how to approach them or how to chat with them and everything so what i say is like it's better to start the process if you are graduating in next 3 months you just start now there is nothing going to happen if you are getting rejections it's okay and also most of the recruiters will say oh we are not giving sponsorship you have to work after your graduate visa comes that's okay let them know i'm graduating in a month or i'm graduating in next 2 weeks or something i'll get my 1g visa so of course if 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 you give me an interview i have to select in an interview my first my resume has to select I have to select an into interview calls and everything so it's going to take one month right so you can explain them and you please like you know give me chance so that's how it's going to be some people are like uh, let's see after graduation after getting graduate visa we'll see about the opportunities by that time 50% of the people will be ready with their resume and linkedin you will be way behind them yeah. so here is one of the like you know tip or i don't know mm. how you guys take but it's better you have to ready see if you are graduating not only you are graduating your whole class is graduating no one knows from how long they are looking yeah. for jobs or they started this all this process yes. so if you are if you come after graduation like uh, okay i'll see after getting graduate visa after getting everything i'll start preparing my resume i'll start my linkedin that is not the case you have to do this way before so that time you will be like you know you will be getting more opportunities or more interview calls and everything so that should happen actually yeah. okay uh does work experience really matters for a student like when a student completes his masters uh, and he's searching for a job for a full time job so then the work experience really matters uh, if he is a fresher and he's searching for a job it differs from a experienced person and a fresher i think it's a good question like everyone uh, has to know this before coming to ireland so what i feel is having an experience and having a skill is really really matters before coming here okay i i don't know about other countries or something i'm just speaking about ireland at the moment but if you're not having any any experience any sort of experience in your particular field or if you're not having any skill it's a very tough situation here to get a job okay and maybe you are seeing on the news and everything like the recession is going on and the see i think the opportunities are same uh, previously and now but the competition is increasing day by day and in every intake you are getting you are, you are we are getting many many students flow here so if you are if they are having good experience like uh, 60% of the students are having an experience only these people those people will get jobs remaining 40% or remaining 50% no they won't get jobs and also like now now in this year the ireland government has changed the sponsorship uh, range like you know okay. before it was if you are having 32k per mm-hmm. annum the sponsorship uh, we, we used to get sponsorship from, yeah. from the company sorry but now it increased to 38000 so if you take you are a fresher you got a graduate graduate role position for a graduate role position the company offers you 32 to 35k okay. so if you are getting a 35k in your first comp- in your first like you know position from the company you are not eligible for the sponsorship yeah. okay from 2024 the government has made 38000 per annum Uh, the salary should be if you if you want to get a sponsor from next year that is 2025 the government has made 44k even some of the experienced people are getting just 40k and just 45k so you just imagine you are coming as a fresher you are not having any experience but e- but okay you got a graduate role position for 35k or something you won't get sponsorship if you are not mm-hmm. getting any sponsorship you can't stay in ireland so uh this is one scenario and even though if you apply jobs as a fresher without any skills you won't able to clear the interview rounds basically first you won't get an interview call to to give an interview you have to get an interview call so now you won't get any interview call because i have seen some of my 
friends i can say or some of my people around who are looking for jobs as a fresher so i don't think so if you are a fresher you will get a job easily i don't think so if you are having an at least like minimum of 3 years that should be fine 3 years with good skill like you know technical skill or else if you are coming from a pharma background or medical background or whatever background you but you should have some experience with your background and what you are looking for job here so at that one it's really really matters please don't come like you know without knowing anything like yeah i just finished my bachelor's i'll just i'll go to ireland and just go for masters and i can get a job no that's not thing maybe you take some break in india you take two years break you study you you do job in your particular field or else improve your skills in technical or something do some projects so that it would be useful for here in for your resume to put all the skills in the resume and you can able to crack the interview okay but if you are a fresher without any without knowing anything and i can get a job uh, it's not easy maybe just 5 to 10% of the people will get that the ratios are really really less so i recommend to have some good experience or skill back in india or like after coming here just do hard work for the skill or something yeah so what are the pros and cons as an indian for you in ireland like many indian in ireland <laughs> <laughs> so when it comes to the pros i got a job yeah <laughs> <laughs> and i uh, i did my studies in just one year mm. and i got a job and i got a sponsorship now i'm able to save some money like more than in india if yeah. i'm doing if i'm working in india i used to get maybe a lakh with not not a lakh see maybe 70000 yeah. or 80000 i don't know because now nowadays in india itself the packages are really really high so yeah. maybe you are, you may get like around 15 lakhs package or 10 lakhs package and you'll get a 1 lakh and without uh, by i mean like tax cuttings and everything maybe you you going to get around 80000 per per hand yeah. so in that 80000 uh, like half of them or like 40000 or like you know 30000 is going to be for your expenses and everything the remaining 50k you will be saving yeah. but here this is not the case here maybe uh, i'm just not telling my exact figure or something see let's take an example if you are getting in a salary of 60k per annum or like 65k you you use you will get like around 3000 3500 euros per per month so 1000 euros expenses and you going to save at least at least 2500 means 2 lakhs yeah yeah so that is the biggest pro yeah. what i can say and the next next thing is like work life balance yeah oh my Yeah. it's crazy here it's crazy <laughs> work life balance is crazy on friday no one is going to pay you no <laughs> meetings okay and if you're not feeling well you can take sick leave yeah it's not like you have to tell a uh, 25 days annual leaves okay yeah. and sick leaves benefits maternity benefits or paternity benefits health insurance moreover like here the work life balance is good in europe it's not like in india or it's not like in us our yeah. indian our indians may even us work life balance is bad <laughs> yes seriously so here you you uh, like you know mostly get full time jobs yeah. so they won't pressure you like you know yeah. if they assign any work to you they going to ask you how many uh, how long it's going to yeah. be are you okay are you fine with this or you want to change yeah. it's not like pressure Just kind of feeling kind of chill kind of yeah so that is really nice you won't have the mental pressure or anything for yeah. you so salary work life balance and you know you can live your independent life you yeah. are so free yeah. okay no one is going to ask you yeah this, no one no one is going to judge me no one is going to ask me like what are you doing yeah. why are you not doing this yeah. what's happening with you why are you like this why are yeah. you wearing this why are you wearing that why, what are you eating <laughs> this is really good Yeah. No, none of no, you know. I'm just living my life. <laughs> yeah, yeah now I'm just living my life. This yeah. is so good. Yeah. No one is like entering in my life and you know, doing these sort of things. I'm happy. So that's the main thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. When it comes to cons, yeah, you miss your family. Yeah, and family is missing family, and also the main thing 
if you won't get a job here and mm. see once you come to ireland like it's uh, if you get a part time in a month or two months it's better yeah. you need not to get money from india every mm. month okay yeah. so also when it comes to pros and cons it, it's mostly depends on the individ- individuals mm, yes. but one thing like work life balance and the salary pay but see in us maybe you may get 6000 dollars per month and the cost of living is less over there but in ireland you won't get 6000 dollars per month please keep that in mind <laughs> in europe europe salaries and us salaries are so much different mm. and also cons one more thing is like tax we are paying 40% tax here that's one of the con mm. okay and also the health care system yeah health uh, like you know hospitals and everything that comes under con if you're having something suddenly you can't go and yeah. you can't do that you have to maintain your health here a lot yeah that comes <laughs> under the con so pros just will take pros is like salary work life balance living your independent life freely without je- i mean no one is there to judge you here and yeah and when it comes to cons missing your family or you're not getting a job here health health care system or taxation paying more tax yeah. and yeah these are the cons what mm-hmm. i think but in comes when it comes to studies it's okay yeah because you are not investing so much right like if you are investing around 40 lakhs or 35 lakhs you have to uh, like you know more um, precious like you know more concentrate on jobs or something on settlement but here you are just paying around 11 lakhs or 12 lakhs and you can earn that in 2 years like yeah. you know if you are getting a good job you can earn that and you can just go to india you are not wasting so much money mm-hmm. so yeah. even that comes under pro i can say yeah. even i thought uh, my thought was like when i am coming here i spent around 15 lakhs because 10 lakhs for masters fees the conversion fees and everything and 5 lakhs for accommodation shopping flight ticket and everything so i had only one thought i'm going there for 3 years if even i'm not getting a sponsorship in 3 years i have to save this 15 lakhs yeah and i can come back to india you yeah. know not i'll somehow i'll be having some foreign experience i'll be like you know roam here some good exposure european countries i can roam so everything this 15 lakhs is fine so with that thought i came okay. so that's happening <laughs> yeah. so that's good and also when it comes to pros here once you apply for a schengen visa and everything you can travel to many countries like all european countries that's the best thing here what i did yeah in summers oh my god this is good like you can travel to paris and you can travel to amsterdam germany switzerland norway sweden portugal what not all the countries like literally so that's the very good thing i can say yeah, yeah. that comes under the pro so see if everything come, gets in time you're getting job everything is fine and then is good i what i felt and it's safe yeah. okay everything is fine for me <laughs> yeah so it, it's fine so if you have any doubts please do let me know in the comment section how do you feel about the weather in ireland like what it will be like <laughs> weather is disgusting <laughs> like okay. you, you'll see like 15 Uh, like in a year you will see like there are many seasons right yeah. in ireland you will see those all things in one day <laughs> like in the morning so many variations many variations day. in a single day so oh my god ireland is really bad for the weather yeah it's really really bad so this is the interview and that's it for today if you like the video please do like share and subscribe to, to tara <laughs> <laughs> yes you